Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I post about uh, my remote, my remote being stolen, and I know what it's to do with on other levels. Uh, there's what I'm saying about and its ramifications on Roger's dodgy business, and that's well. If you uh, start a dodgy business and run a dodgy business and then you even have staff knowing that they have to be quiet about you running a dodgy business and then they're no longer your staff because of you, then, you know, what scenario is, is, is there possibly where a staff member could contradict Gary Kanz or Roger Tall? Uh, within Capital Chemist? Uh, the answer is none. Where, where do they get pulled aside and said, uh, and, and it's reflected in their slogans, you know, um, everybody needs their Capital Chemist. What's a possible a bad implication of that slogan? Well, I'll tell you now. It's that when people sign for subsidized prescriptions, um, Essentially, they're signing an IOU form so that they pay a copay a copayment price, and then the, and then the rest of the price of the medicine is subsidized. So, but what happens is pharma, pharmacies don't say, and pharmacists don't say as a, as a rule to patients. Um, by the way, so that you know, your the subsidy is paid back by um, the health insurance commission. That's why we take your Medicare card and concession card where applicable. They don't say that, but they also don't not say that. So technically they go, well, <laughs> so, you know, you'll have a ching chong, ching chong, chunga chaka, chingas, chong chung, chung chung Chinese woman uh, go in with a prescription and sign uh, and leave thinking that the capital chemist stores are paying the diff the back the difference in the amount of medicine so they'll be like um very grateful sucky sucky let me love you a long time very grateful very grateful and with slogans like everybody needs their capital chemist um it pose it 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 it, it, it posits the question well you're a healthcare agency and then second and secondly why uh, why does everybody need their capital chemist? And so to, to state it, when you're trying to be a, a health care officiate agent, a, agency, is, is, um, it's unhippocratic, I think, because rather than that slogan, it'd be better if pharmacists were telling every customer that signed any scription, prescription for anything that's subsidized, um, Please, please know that the, the a federal a federal government agency, the Health Insurance Commission, will be paying for the, the value of this medicine, not us, not not cap. It's not it's not coming out of the pocket of Capital Chemists, but they don't tell them, but they don't not tell them either. So they go, well, it's not our fault if questioned. Like they'll go, it's not our fault, but then you just say, well, look at your slogan, you dumb cunt. Like, why do you say everybody, like, a Grey's need needs a Band-Aid every time, uh, potentially. So, you know, uh, give give one proof uh, satisfying the criteria of the health, rights to health, as stipulated by the Commonwealth Standards for the Human Rights Act. Uh, as to why everybody needs a capital chemist or admit that your slogan is like uh, um, a dried up brothels, old maids, queefing, fucking um, clientless, uh, dildoless cavity, which, it's, which needs its, itself to be numbed, but then where to go for the, for the vag vaginesthetic uh, shit, this Priceline. Oh, wait, but no, Priceline isn't saying everybody needs Priceline. Oh, but Capital Chem's saying everybody needs us. And so what's the response? Uh, immigrants are stupid. Uh, right, right slogans that, um, 
I'm going to start appeal to the uh, what you would call the lowest common denom denominator of sociological subculture. Now, you've obviously done some market research into that area, obviously, or you wouldn't have Freemasoned out with this fucking faggot fucking slogan. That tastes like Gary Can's wife's and Roger Toll's wife's uh, first scissoring session together. That I, I I fucking I'm lucky to have missed, but yeah no saying um it's a, it's inappropriate really because to to say oh are you are you sick or injured everybody needs to go here uh it's horror it's it, it's not right and I've I've watched pharmacists recognize that too and go well uh, and back then the slogans w w were different and they were like yeah you know we don't have this go to Saul Patterson's, for instance, um, he's done. The pharmacist did their duty, which is to take the health needs of the patient as the first consideration. So no, I don't agree with them. It's it, yeah. It's bro it's like it's brothel. It's the brothel of chemists, really, and you know, um, uh. Certain whole like traits they may have instilled in me, but uh, I'm trying. I'm I'm fanging them out in in recordings such as this, these, and um, yeah. I think don't the religious do that? They feed off silence, they, and they're like, well, oh well, if that that's their stupid fault if they arrived at the conclusion that the health insurance commission weren't paying for their medicines but we were uh well no they didn't that they if, if they were led to believe that the chemist was paying the sub the subsidy uh it's quite rightly so in in, in everybody's case that they don't even have to be chungas to um chunga immigrants to to fall into that category it's the way you're advertising everything it's all over your fucking walls like I'm all over Gary's mums anyway and so um yeah if they if they made more mature slogans it would be it would be it'd be more pharmacist like it'd be more health needs of the patient as the first consideration so I speak out like this and every time there's a Roger has wanted me in psych in a psych on psych meds for the rest of my life and so he's been he's contacting me back at certain points in time saying luke i didn't get my money out of you um because i spoke to a review panel and was discharged from the canberra hospital um i suffered a lot of harm there he doesn't care about that he's going i didn't get my money back out of you uh so i threw out investment money i didn't get my return so you know on top of that i i have um if i talk about relevant issues about why they're dick suckers uh in addition to them doing shit like that they'll find more shit to do and but it's just funny how indirect and pussy they are about it uh i just seen them in court during my six six month of employment of employment really uh in 2001 so before i finished year 12 uh anyway <laughs> everybody needs a capital chemist